Oh my god, what is in my eye? Oh, I can't see. Dude, what the hell? Okay, there I am. I see myself now. And I see you. What's up, beautiful? You look fabulous today, as always. And welcome back. Yo, today's, today's we got, we got, some, we got some juiciness going on. I mean, we always got some juiciness going on here, but let's talk about Overtone. The Overtone ads. I am the opener. That's me saying I love Overtone. And guess what? It's true! <laughs> so, you know, when Overtone released the ad before this one, I was briefly in it, okay? And there was plenty of comments saying, Brad, do you know you're in this? Do you know you're in this? Oh my God, they're using your face. They're using your face. Oh my God, ooh, ah, ooh, ee. And let me tell you one thing first. <laughs> I love you guys. Y'all mean so much to me looking out for me. I see you, homie. I see you looking out for me. I mean, y'all are in like everything to me and thank you for sticking up for me even though I knew I was in the ads. And today's video is also a sponsorship by Overtone. Thank you, Overtone. Greatly appreciate it. And let me let me just tell you one thing before you think, oh, another YouTuber trying to sell me something that they don't actually use. That ain't true. That'll never be true on my channel. I always and only and will only ever sell products that I genuinely am obsessed with. And listen, before any of the sponsorship stuff came about with Overtone, I used Overtone and talked about it for nothing. So if you guys don't believe me then, then get the off my channel. Ugh. Listen, I even used Overtone when I did that split hair color moment. This one, it was really good. It came out really dope too. <laughs> I gotta admit it, it came out really dope. Like it was pretty good, it was good for me. Enough of that. I wanna talk about Overtones today and we're gonna talk all about colors, all about some new stuff they have going on, all about really exciting Overtone things because guess what? Overtones man. We're gonna put some Overtone colors to the test today. We're gonna see if they live up to my expectations that I already have of Miss Overtone, okay? We're gonna really check them out up close and personal. We're gonna get in there. Even though this is a sponsorship, I'm not gonna hold back. Overtone was like, give us your honest opinion. And guess what? I'm gonna do just that. We're gonna be testing six Overtone colors today. So if you've ever been curious if you should be using Overtone on your own head, which I know most of you guys are because I get asked all the time, does Overtone work and should I use it on my own hair? Well today, ma'am, we're about to answer your question. So let's do it. <laughs> let's first review what we're reviewing today. We're gonna be reviewing the three earthy shades and these consist of honey brown, Espresso brown, and we have rich black. These are Overtone's three earthy shades, and oh, don't mind the writing on the top of these. This is just because when I put them away in drawers, I can just look down and be like, ooh, I want that one, ooh, I want that one. It's just like a way of me organizing. So yeah, that's that. If you're not into like, you know, fashion colors, extreme, crazy, colorful colors, you can always use some natural ones, some earthy shades, if you know what I mean. So we got three of them. We're gonna test all three of these out, and then after that, we have two extreme colors. One is extreme red we're gonna be testing today. And then we have extreme purple because I just feel like those are pretty colors. Okay, perfect, we're gonna do those. And then we have their limited edition turquoise, which ah, I love turquoise. <laughs> so we're gonna test that today. It looks sickening. So I'm excited about this. All right. Let's get testing on this many quin and how easy they are to apply and to use. So let's do it. I know this looks a little creepy right now. I'm just doing it for Miss Manny Quinn's sake, okay? I don't want to get color all over her like I always do, okay? I swear I am mentally sane and I am not doing this for my the fun of it. Perfect. All right, now Miss Manny Quinn's all prepped. She has a coating of conditioner on her forehead just so I don't get it all color all over her because that tends to happen. Because you know what, I'm messy. As you can see, we have six sections laid out here. All right, we're gonna do this half with the earthy shades and the other side with the extreme shades and turquoise. Up first, we have honey brown. And listen, what I'm gonna do is kind of just section out the her like this and just go up the head, but I'm going to use my hands. I normally I would probably use a brush because I just like brushes and I'm just taught like that, you know, in hair school to use a brush for everything. But I want to show you that you can use it with your hands because I know a lot of you guys are just going to use your hands and not have to buy more stuff to like then apply the color with. Wow, this looks pretty. But yeah, so hands, easy. You can also use a brush. You can do whatever you want really, but oh my God, it looks like fudge. So this is going to be overtones, very, very warm, bronzy, brown color. I'm already seeing it. Ooh, lots of like very rich undertones going on in here. 
And we're gonna get right to that root without getting it too much on the face. And what I always say with this stuff, guys, more is more. The thicker coat you have with Overtone, the better in my opinion. I think that's with like any color line. You just really need to coat every single hair strand or you're not gonna get consistent color all the way through. See, like that is good. Like it looks creamy on that hair strand. So that is one piece done. And let's move up the hair and it's already changing color right before my eyes. Ooh, girl. Basically the ideal starting color is platinum blonde for this. It's gonna really be super rich on platinum blonde, but you can definitely use it on all kinds of blonde hair. With this one, you can tell it's it's it looks like a pretty, you know, light color. It's definitely not like a dark, dark brown. So you're gonna want something that's one to two shades lighter than this in order to achieve this. Typically I would recommend two shades lighter. And we can even comb this through. It is very conditioning, so it's really easy to comb through. There's no developer in it, so it's not going to cause any damage. You're actually gonna have healthier hair after using this 100%, because this is a deep conditioning formula, and it's gonna make your hair really feel amazing after that. You'll see how silky the hair looks after using Overtone. All right, so this is processing beautifully. Let's finish the section off and then move on to the second color. And done. That is the first color complete. And our next earthy shade is Espresso Brown. Let's give her a try. Again, we're just gonna section out. Doesn't need to be neat, doesn't need to be like crazy. Just, I like sectioning, you know? That way you know that you're getting every hair strand. And look how pretty. Ooh, girl, hi. <laughs> this is gonna be your dark brown with golden undertones. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is rich. This is some rich girl color, honey. We're gonna get right up those roots with our fingers. We're gonna get right in there, okay? And normally, you know, this will come off of regular person's skin, but. Today, I don't have regular person skin. I have a doll. So this color is gonna cover most hair colors. You can really get away with, you know, starting with a deep color, but of course it's gonna look just more vibrant on lighter hair, but just just make sure it's at least one shade lighter. So I hope that makes sense to you guys, but um, if your starting color is any lighter than that, you're just gonna get a lot more vibrancy. All right, I'm breaking out the brush. <laughs> I was getting too messy with these sections here. If you're gonna do one head, one color, it's one thing, but uh, guys, I'm trying to do like six different ones, so we're just gonna keep it organized and we're gonna use a brush, but you can definitely apply with your hands. Also, the coolest part about these conditioning colors is that you can use it straight out of the bowl. You don't have to even use another bowl. Like normally you have to squeeze the color into a bowl, then you have to wash the bowl after you're done. No, I, dude, I just go right in. I go right in, girl. No shame, no harm, no foul. Okay, up next, now we have Rich Black. And this is our last earthy shade on this side. So let's get to it. Oh, girl, that's black. You guys are probably gonna be like, well, Brad, you always tell us to go to professional, right? That's true, that is very true. But there are some things that you can do at home yourself that I feel very comfortable that you guys can do yourselves. And this is one of them. Because this is only depositing tone into your hair and not lifting, there's no possible way to fry off your hair. There's no possible way you're gonna end up with a bald head. That is why I, Brad Mondo, say that you can use this hair color at home. <gasps> I think that's the first time I've ever said that. So as you can see, this is a very, very, very dark black. It's like a midnight black. Oh, Carl, it is rich. It is really churning that hair a different color. Something about hair just churning different colors is like so fascinating to me. And so this color, if you have a dark hair color to start with, this is gonna be your girl or your boy, whatever you want it to be. I'm not judging. Because it covers pretty much every single hair color. But ideally, you know, if you can start off with a lighter shade, two shades lighter, this is gonna be your bae. It's gonna make your hair really, Really dark. I'm interested to see how much pigment is actually in these colors because you can always tell a cheap color from an expensive color formula because cheap color formulas, you'll see kind of like a cast of the color, but it won't be rich and it won't have depth. And when the color line has good formulation and good <laughs> ingredients, that's when you're gonna see that very, very rich, rich tone with depth to it. So we're gonna definitely test that when we're done with this. Let's just cruise through this and finish this last section. And then we're gonna get to some fun, crazy shades on the other side. Again, guys, 
lay that color on there. You're gonna get more vibrancy the more color you lay on there, all right? Voila! Those, my friends, are the three earthy shades. So we're gonna let this process, and while we're letting this process, we're gonna start on the other side. And next up, we have Extreme Red. I'm really psyched for this one, okay? Cause girl, it looks like blood. <laughs> and I love blood. It was a little creepy, I didn't mean it to be that creepy, but can you see now why I covered her with saran wrap? I swear, I'm not that creepy. I just wanted her to be covered and safe. She is gonna have the color of the year, honey. Whoa, girl, it is so bright. They're not kidding when they say extreme. These are their extreme colors, honey. And Overtone has so many shades, so many different shades. So if you're looking to have purple hair, blue hair, pink hair, any kind of color, you can find it most likely on their website. They also have different vibrancies of each color. This is the extreme. So this is the brightest red color that they have. I just wanted to show you, you know, how much vibrancy you can get with Overtone. And of course, you're gonna get the most vibrant results, like I've been saying this whole video, on blonder hair. I chose to use this blonde today because I wanna show you just how vibrant it can be, but if you're gonna go down to a darker level, you're not gonna get as vibrant as results, but it still is going to make a difference on your hair, no matter, even if it's like a light brown color, you're still gonna be able to see that red, but it's gonna show more in the sunlight rather than all the time, like you're gonna see with this one. All right, let's just quickly run through these next few colors, and then we'll talk more about the actual product. That way I can, you know, pay, fully pay attention to what I'm saying instead of, you know, getting this color all over everything. Wow, girl, this is definitely extreme red. And our next color is extreme purple. Ooh, ooh. Let's do it, let's put this on there. And you guys, I will run over more information about the product once we have all this on, I swear, I'll tell you more, okay? I just wanna get this on real quick, and then we'll talk, all right? Oh my gosh. Gosh darn it, this is purple. Did I get my hair? No, I didn't. Girl, one stroke of that, and you got some purple locks. Hello, this is some purple hair. Guys, when you're putting this color in, break up the hair with your hands, smush it in there, do whatever you need to do to make sure that every hair strand is covered, or else you're gonna get spotted. And nobody likes a spotty head of color. I swear, nobody does. Ask your mom, she doesn't like it, neither do I. Okay, let's apply the last color, and this is the limited edition turquoise. Oh, girl, let's see this turquoise. I am a turquoise fiend. It is my go-to color. Let's check this out. And bam! Pretty damn turquoise, all right? Not gonna lie here. Not gonna lie, it is quite the turquoise. Wow. Color's so fun. <laughs> And now, ideally for the turquoise shade, you're gonna wanna start off with a lighter blonde than this, ideally platinum, because this blonde that I'm working on right now already has a lot of yellow undertones in it. It's gonna come up more as a greener tint because that blue is gonna mix with that yellow and it's gonna produce green, because that is how color theory works. And if you wanna counteract that, you can also just mix in more extreme blue into this turquoise overtone. When I blow dry this, it's probably gonna be more on the green side than turquoise. Just wanted to tell you that before you see the finished results. Okay, so that is all the colors. That is six different overtone colors on this head. We're gonna let that process for 10 to 15 minutes and I'm gonna rinse it out and blow dry and I will be back to share more information about overtone that you might be wondering. I'm excited. Woo! And here we have it. Oh, are you kidding? Are you joking? Oh my God, it's so freaking pretty. I'm obsessed. Oh yes. Let me just run through some quick details about Overtone. Okay, when I was rinsing it out, I was a little worried that the colors would bleed into each other, but because the color is so thick, you don't see a lot of the color running out and they didn't mix at all. As you can see this dark, dark purple and this turquoise, 
didn't mix at all. Like you don't see any purple residue on the turquoise, which is really cool and really impressive. Also, can you look at this pigment we have on here? Oh my God, here are some up pictures of that. I mean, it is crazy pigmented and that is just one coat on her virgin hair. That is amazing. Just important things that I don't even need to say, but I would like to make a point of. Overtone is vegan and cruelty-free color, which is so exciting, I love that. So you're also gonna find colors like extreme purple and extreme red also come in the daily conditioner, and this is just gonna maintain your colors. I like to use the color and conditioner to first do the color and then use the daily conditioner to keep up with the color. So both great products. That is the difference, but it does, the, the daily conditioner does not come in the earthy tones. And the turquoise, because it is limited edition, it is only gonna be around for a very limited amount of time. So if you guys want the turquoise, get on that. And this is only available to purchase with the complete system, which includes one daily conditioner and one color and conditioner and one two ounce travel size. So you always have that fresh color on the go, honey. So to end this video, I'm gonna do a quick inspection of all the different colors we tried out. And I'm gonna show you guys up close what they all look like compared to what we started with. So let's do that. The turquoise. Oh, yes! Like, what? 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 Should this be my next color? Like, it really does condition. Like, I know I'm not like I'm gassing up overtone like crazy, but I'm just genuinely telling you guys how I feel about the product. Uh, yeah, it's a very, very conditioning product and it makes the hair feel a lot better and a lot smoother. And let's move on to the purple. The purple looks fabulous too. It is highly, highly pigmented. It is a dark purple, girl. And this is the extreme colors. So you're gonna get as much pigment as possible, which I personally really like, you know. Uh, the red, oh my gosh, this is honestly crazy to me because I've used a lot of color lines in my life and I don't know how many of them have a red, a true red that is this vibrant. It is highly pigmented. Highly, highly. Like look at this on camera, I'm looking at it on my monitor. Whoa. <laughs> That is one coat and that is like dark. Like there's no undertones of like purple. There's no undertones of like orange. Like it is just pure red, which I love. Now onto the black and girl, they are not kidding when they say it's an inky midnight black. It is dark as hell. It's black, okay? It is like the blackest black. I really like this. Even though it is like an inky color, like it has a little bit of like purple undertones to it, like blue. It has a lot of shine and luster and you can tell it's a very high quality color. And then let's move on to the brown bits, which I think this is just like a beautiful natural color. It picks up differently on different tones. So if you have like pre-highlighted hair and you put this over it, it's gonna like keep those highlights there. It isn't gonna change that. It's just gonna add to it and add more dimension to them. It's like kind of a neutral brown. It's beautiful. And this is going to be our honey brown. So it is a mega warm, warm brown. And again, super rich, super beautiful, great. This is super pretty for those of you with you know, warm skin tones. I mean, it's just a gorgeous, very shiny, lustrous color. It almost has like a little bit of an orange undertone, which I really dig. And yeah, I love that. So those are the six different colors we tested today. You guys can be the judge. I don't even need to gas up overtone. Like you can just look at the evidence. It's dope. And you guys, I have this really obnoxious light here and I wanted to show you like <laughs> the shine. Ah! <laughs> okay, that's all. And one last thing before I go, all these colors are available to purchase at overtone.co and they are $29 besides the turquoise one, which comes in a package for $47. And the website will be linked below for you, of course. And that is all for today. Oh, that was fun. I mean, I love playing with color. I love that this is my job to play with color. If you guys end up using overtone and color your hair with it, Send me a picture, tag me, tag Overtone. I'd love to see it. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at BradmondoNYC and my brand Xmondo Hair. And thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I will see you all next time.